What's up everybody? Today's video is going to be a little tech tip video about how to get nuts and bolts into tight places. Um, this could be advantageous when installing one of our wing kits for example. If you got to get a nut and a bolt up into a trunk or if you're coming down into something such as this. So it's really simple. I'll show you how. So it's pretty simple. Obviously bolt's just going to fall right out. So scotch tape. Everybody should have some of this laying around for one thing or another. Just put a little bit right over the top and then as you press the socket on the tension in it is enough to just keep it in place. Same thing goes for nuts as well. Oops. Doesn't come out so that way if you gotta get down and into something in there nice and snug. Now the only tricky bit is if you need to do a washer and a nut. I usually just tape the washer to it, go like this, come up and around just enough to get some tension so you have one unit I guess we'll call it and same deal. Just smash it on. Now it's pretty simple because say the, the bolt is coming from whatever direction once you just press it together real easily, it just pokes a hole right in it. Get it started. Once it's started, you can take it off and everything's one piece. So you'll see an example coming up next. So in this example, I got to get a washer and a nut up in these holes here. I have a, a couple of them. You probably can't see the bolts, but the bolts are already coming in through the top. I'm going to take my tape uh, nut washer combo and again it you know not going anywhere get it in get it started so that way it's up in there now you can tighten it down you don't got to worry about the nut or the washer falling down and into your trunk hatch or whatever else it is that you're working on so there you have it pretty easy a uh, little tip that should help you out um, getting nuts and bolts into tight places. If it did, if you like this type of video, please hit subscribe. Uh, we appreciate it and we're going to start coming out with more of these little tech tip videos that should help you out.